The Greek Fisherman I don't know who told this story or created it originally. I recently received it from my son in an email, and it had such an immediate impact on my life that I shared every opportunity I have. So the Greek Fisherman a tourist boat lands at this uh, tiny little village on a small Greek island, and after lunch she was so impressed with the freshness and the quality of the fish that she uh, wanted to talk to the fishermen about it. And so in conversation she asked, how long do you spend out fishing? And they explained that, uh, you know, they only spend a few, or a few hours out, they catch enough fish for their family, for a few of their family friends, and then uh, whatever they have left over, they uh, sell in the marketplace for additional uh, income for the family. And um, she says, really, you don't spend very much time out? And they said, well, no, we don't really have to. And she asked, well, what do you do with your the extra time that you have? He, they, the fishermen would say when they came back from a, from a catch, they would usually go out and play with their children for a while. Um, in the afternoon, they'd go into the cafe and have some coffee with some friends. And in the afternoon, they'd come home, take a siesta with their wives. Maybe later that evening, they would head back into town to the tavern, have a little bit of uh, dinner, share some company with some friends, drink uh, some ouzo, and break a plate or two. So she said, uh, you know, I can help you. I have an MBA from Harvard, and I can certainly help you. And they said, well, that's interesting. What would you have us do? She said, first of all, I would have you spend more time out fishing, fishing, and with the extra fish that you caught, uh, you would be able to purchase a larger trawler. And then with the additional revenue that that generated, you could go out and purchase two or three more trawlers and expand your fleet. They said, really? And then what would we do? Well, she explained, as your fleet grew, uh, you would be able to now go ahead and be able to bypass the middleman and start selling directly to the processing plants, maybe even open your own processing plant, creating a lot more additional revenue. They said, that's interesting. And then what would happen? She said, well, as your empire grew and expanded, you could then move to Athens or Rome or maybe even to London and manage your empire from there. And that's when it gets really, really good. They said, it gets really good then, huh? And she explained, yes, that's when you would be able to start selling stocks and buying and selling the stocks, and you would be making millions. And the fisherman said, millions? And she says, yeah, you would, you would be really going very well by that time. And the fisherman stopped and paused for a moment and said, and about how long do you think that would take? She explained that, oh, it would generally take about 20 to 25 years to accomplish all of that. And he, the fisherman, said, well, really? And then what will we do after we had accomplished all that? She says, well, then that's the really good part, because then you could retire to a tiny village on a small Greek island. You could spend your afternoons playing with your children, go to the cafe, come home in the afternoon, uh, have a siesta with your wives, go back down to the tavern in the evening, have a, a little bit of ouzo, and break a plate or two. And the fisherman kind of seeming a little bit confused says, well, I don't understand. What would cause us to want to spend 20 to 25 years to build up this huge empire, generating all these millions and millions of dollars, and then come back and do what we're already doing? They were really quite surprised at what she had to say. So really the moral of the story is that know where you're going in life. Chances are you may already be there. Enjoy.